Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Tell me what you've been doing this morning. Um, Apparently, he's been smacking plates. Oh, don't complain. What have you been doing? Smashing plates. <laughs> Sounds about right. No, we have, we got up early, once in a blue moon, like I've said, um, and then we did our morning cardio, and now we are packed, ready to leave Manchester and go to London. What are you going to London for? Um, in London, we have a witch shoot, and then I'm doing a New Zest event tomorrow with uh, PH Nutrition. Do you know what is the witch shoot for? Uh, the new collection, I believe. So, new outfits coming out. Mm, Keep your nice. eyes peeled. Okay, so should we go now? Yeah, because we're probably running late. <laughs> Slipped a little bit behind time. No, that's as you do. As you do. As you do. Mark is. Um, but no, it was good. good. Pretty smooth. What are we doing today? So today we're doing a shoot of the new collection. How are you feeling? How's the body? Good, good. It's felt a lot better like the last few weeks. It's got um, the shoulders getting a lot more comfortable. Nice. Yeah. You got ski oaks today, huh? Yeah. You see that? Is that the first time? Uh, I did it like two days ago. But um, yeah, now it's feeling much more comfortable, but I've just got to keep on top of like oh, no, sorry. You start in the loosening it and just some mobility. I know. But, yeah. Oh, Otherwise, yeah. getting there slowly. What's like the movement you're looking forward to getting back to doing? Oh, muscle ups. Really? I was watching, I was watching him, these guys do it yesterday, and it was like my ideal workout. Wall walks, muscle ups, push press. Pull ups. Yeah. Oh, like, oh, good, I'll do my squats. So, do you have like, with injury, do you have like short term goals in mind and then like bigger long term goals, or is it just like take each day as it comes? Definitely short term goals because you know, like, from, from the physio, he'll tell me like what I should, should be able to do at a certain point or like build up strength in different movements like I remember like there's one like move, physio movement I had I literally couldn't do it like empty hand and now I can lift like three kilos so. nice <laughs> yeah, yeah but, um, but like just even little steps like that is just like makes such a good difference I really like it. I, um, cream is sometimes a bit risky, but mm. if you know you're not gonna you know, drink too much coffee, you're okay. No. But um, no, I really like it. The oversized stuff's cool. Are you prone to spilling coffee? No. Uh, prone to spilling anything? No, I don't spill that much. I feel like the, with cream, you know, you lie down or you do a burpee or something, and it's oh, yeah, black. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I do, I do love black. So color. Well, I was just saying to Fraser before. It's actually the color of. Um, my hometown, really? Otago, is blue and yellow. Or blue and gold, blue and yellow. That's what we've got, so I like it. What were you saying about it's nice to add some intensity? What were you saying in the gym when I was asking you? Yeah, so being injured for a long while, sometimes yeah. it's hard to get intensity just because some of the movements you can't do fast. Yeah. You can't do as hard as you normally do. So then when you finally get to do a workout, it's nice. Yeah. It's nice to hit it. It wasn't nice. <laughs> I had to scale it. And there's no, scaling isn't a crime when you're doing it with the games athletes. But I scaled as well. I didn't do more balls. No, which is actually my worse. Dumbbell, yeah, fast. The yeah, hard wobbles for your back. Yeah, harder on the bad. legs, but easier yeah. on the lungs. What would be like a go when you're fully recovered? Yeah. Like, what's the first workout you're like? I can't wait to attack that. Oh, I just want to do 30 muscle ups at a time. Really? Keep it simple. Yeah. That's your jam. Maybe burpee muscle ups. Ooh. Yeah. 
It's fun. Ring must have absolute bar. Ring. Ring. Definitely ring. Do you prefer bar or ring? Ring. Ring. So next time I come up, 30 burpee ring muscle up. Yeah. I'd honestly yeah. rather that than doing Would those, you? What are they called? Gorilla squats? No, they're just med ball warble squats. Med ball warble squats, yeah. you heard it here first. I have a question. Would you rather every time you do a workout for the rest of your life you tear your hands or never be able to drink beer again? Probably tear my hands. Yeah. You, you get used to that. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> How are your hands now? Oh, it's so soft. So it's like I've got two reps from rowing. Because obviously I, I can't do anything with it. That is bad. That is, I mean, that's like five to ten muscle ups in a partner workout. Got I'm broken. Good. Yeah, I'm broken. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. What's the biggest lesson you've learned from your injury? What's the biggest thing you've taken away as an athlete? Or the smallest? Yeah, well, it's, it depends because I've had that many bloody injuries. It's like every time I learn something new. I think this time round, it's like sort of more to do with what you're doing outside the gym. Yeah. Make sure you have that in balance, and then that way you're going to recover quicker. Sort of just not really have that injury pull you down and get you so like if everything's focused on the gym and you can't do that, then yeah, you've got yeah. Nothing else. You control what you can control. Exactly. Like yeah. that nutrition for you, sleep. Yeah. What, like, what are the main focuses for you at the moment? So like nutrition sleep, but that's always when you're training. I mean more like the social side. Like nice. you know, I'm like a human and I still like going out and having fun. Yeah. Um, drinking beers. Yeah. <laughs> but even just like catching up with friends at home, obviously I miss that a lot because normally we travel when I'll see them. Mm -hmm. But I've been more um, onto like you know, checking in online, you go Zoom calls and stuff, and yeah, you don't actually realise how much better that makes you feel when you're when there's stuff that you can't do with people around when you. When it's not all like train, train, yeah. train, fuel, 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 yeah. and you break it up. Be a normal person. No. Yeah, so I think I'm just focusing on like rounding myself out and just, yeah, being happy with general, general life. Jamie, how do you find it doing all this, like campaign shoots, all the stuff that, because you've trained to be an athlete and then all this stuff kind of comes with it now in this modern age of Instagram and social media. Is it something you're comfortable with or is it something you're just like dreading? Well, it's something I feel like I've learnt a lot more this year, mm -hmm. to be fair. Um, it is definitely one of those things like when you're deep in the season, it's not another stress that you want. Um, so obviously that makes makes it more stressful. Yeah. Um, but no, when like I've been injured, it's actually been really fun working with sponsors and getting to know the sponsors more because mm -hmm. obviously they help you out so much with yeah. um, obviously all the kit and things mm -hmm. like that, um, travel. So get, being able to give back a bit more is, yeah, is really good. And also as well, like it's good getting it out there to, like people always ask me, you know, what do you use for mobility? What do you, supplements do you use and stuff? And then this makes it a lot clearer. Like yeah, this yeah. is legit what I use and this yeah. is how I do it. So it's easy to get out when you do the work with people. Yeah, and everyone's yeah. really easy to work with. So I, yeah, I bet it's nice I to like meet it. the faces as well behind what's essentially just the logo on yeah. like a pair of shoes like Innovate or Wit or yeah. something like that. Definitely. And like as well, when you're competing, you meet them briefly, but like they don't want to hassle you because you're yeah. in the middle of competition. Um, and then sometimes you head straight out. So mm -hmm. they don't want to you know, rush you around. But when you actually have time to sit down and meet them, it's, yeah, it's yeah. really cool. Yeah. 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 What would you say to someone that's either dealing with a niggle or starting to feel like they might be on the road to injury? Um, before they get to that point, what would you say to them to like, what advice would you give to someone that either is dealing with an injury or not? If you're leading up to an injury and you've got like a niggle, take a step back and yeah. like find someone that's going to get rid of that. Because if you can get on top of that, it might be a two week injury. Yeah. If you don't get on top of it, it could be like a two month, six month injury. Mm -hmm. So for a starter, take a step back because you, you've got so much time that, you know, missing one or two workouts is not going to kill you. Yeah, true. Um, but if you are dealing with an injury, yeah, just like finding, like control what you can. Mm -hmm. Literally catch up more. You know, make the most of being out of the gym. Yeah, yeah. maybe uh, get onto your sleep, your nutrition, and if you need to, get people to help you with that. Nice. Because you know, it's with nutrition. You're like, I know I should be having this, but when I'm injured, it's also different again, and you yeah, want yeah. to stay accountable to someone. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, the more help you can get, the better. And little steps. Yeah. That's what I'm focusing on at the moment. Moving up to my three kilo dumbbell. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're back home, um, and it is just about bedtime. Uh, we finished up the shoot a few hours ago and then we went out for dinner, um, but of course still hungry. So I'm going to make some pancakes 
Okay, so what I've got here for my pancakes, I've got my butler <laughs> making a drink before I go to sleep. <laughs> What's in the drink? The drink, this is actually Magnesium Calm. Um, this also helps with getting up in your magnesium and calming the body down before bed. I also like to snack on some dark chocolate because chocolate helps all. But <laughs> what we've got is we've got roughly half a cup of oats. Mm -hmm. Chuck it in the Nutribullet. And we've got one egg. This is the famous recipe from, well I got it from Liam at PH. Way back when? Way back when. Um, the egg. One banana. Little cute banana this one. So this is a serving just for me. <laughs> if I was making it for these guys as well, then I would probably times it by four or double it. Would you like a tea as well? Yes, please. Uh, same as what else, Natal and whatever? Yeah. 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 Of course, one banana. <laughs> then we've got almond milk, up to you. If you want almond milk, normal milk, coconut milk, go wild, soy milk, water. <laughs> Just a dash of almond milk. Now, key part, chocolate, once again, New Zest. So with this, with New Zest, I find since it's pea protein, it's a little bit thicker. So I'll do it, but I might have to add in some um, more almond milk. So one scoop, in we go. And we, oh, I'll blend it first then. Um, do not wait today. You have to get an eyeball. How are we looking? Well, first of all, I'll get this on. Um, bit so, of butter, teaspoon yeah. of butter. So, how serious are you with your nutrition right now? Um, well, obviously, with uh, rec with injuries, you need to make sure that you're taking the right protocols to recover from that injury. So, I'm making sure I get enough sort of protein, still carbs and stuff. But I'm not training as much; that doesn't have to be as high. Um, but I talk to Liam at PH Nutrition, and he pretty much just guides me what I need to be eating. So, obviously, keep that on top of like I like to eat a lot of fish; helps get the omegas in. Um, and yeah, just basically trying to get as many colours in and nutrients, vitamins and minerals as I can while I'm trying to heal. So let's see the thickness. Oh, I forgot to put my bike up. Good thickness, but I forgot. You can either do bicarb, baking soda. It makes it fluffier, right? Yeah, so this makes it fluffier. Elliot hates it when I put this in. He can taste it. <laughs> Now we wait till that heats up a little bit. Snack in the meantime. So when you're in season, do you track your macros? Um, roughly, roughly yeah. here and there. Does it change during the season? Yeah, so obviously when you're around competitions and building up with training a bit more, then I think Liam puts my carbs up a bit more. But to be honest, I just talk to Liam in and out and he keeps me updated with things. I would say though you're more of a uh, you're more of a go by feel type of person. Okay, you listen to your body really well. I do. Yeah. Because I know like sometimes you don't eat enough. Though. Sometimes I think I listen to my body, but sometimes that's not always the best thing to do. So we've got pancakes, got our stack, piece of dark chocolate hidden in there. Then we've got some yogurt, Greek yogurt, strawberries, granola, and maple syrup. Perfect pre bedtime snack. Jay, what are we doing tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow we are in WIT early. Uh, first of all, with a weightlifting workshop, and then we are doing a uh, nutrition 
question and answer. So with PH Nutrition, so if you want to learn more about pancakes, more about nutrition, more about eating, be there. Hey.